I have about five minutes to get ready to go teach at a class at LMU, which is where I went to college. The class is called Business for Screenwriters. It was a class that I took in college. Oh my God, it's been 13 years since I started college. No. Wow, I just dated myself hardcore, but I took this course in college and I've been pretty much coming back to speak every single semester since then. But I've probably spoken in this class like almost 20 times, which is crazy. But my favorite part about it is that it changes every semester. The whole point of this class is to actually learn practical skills for like making it in the business of film and television if you're a writer or like a creative. So obviously, as you can imagine over time, the topics have changed a ton. We started talking about social media and digital and like short form writing writing when this class first started or when I took it in college it was like very much just traditional because that's what was going on so that's one of the coolest parts for me I think is seeing this class like adapt as the industry evolves and one of the things about being a creative and being in the film industry I think is just you really have to adapt if you don't you will get left behind which is also part of why I think I found success early on with social media is that I kind of went this route that was up and coming I didn't go the traditional film route even though I got offered jobs from like studios like Warner Brothers and I actually <laughs> turned them down and decided to forge my own path. Very risky, but it did pan out, which is nice. But if it taught me anything, it just taught me that sometimes you gotta take the back door. Don't take the road that everyone's going and it might pan out. The Professor Jay, who I love, is really good at evolving the class to really fit what is happening currently. I think it's so important for students to actually understand what's going on now so that when they graduate, they're not like, what do I do? Because at the end of the day, like we all wanna be creative and we all wanna get jobs in creative fields, but we also have to make money. <laughs> so it's really important to actually understand what the industry is like at the current moment and what options are available. I don't know where anything is, you guys. So yeah, when I first started speaking in this class, I used to kind of like actually have presentations, like a PowerPoint. That was fun, but also if you know, it takes so much time to prepare and the class doesn't get to like interact that much. So now what we do is we'll talk about all the same topics, but instead of me like, presenting. He'll kind of just ask me questions. I get to answer them. The students can also ask any questions that they have and participate like as we go, which is super cool. So I really like that because honestly, there's way less prep work on my end. I just show up and talk about what I know. Obviously me being me, I do prepare <laughs> still. Or I just remind myself kind of like the things that I say, the points I like to talk about, but I've been doing this for so long now that, you know, it's really easy and I'm really comfortable doing it. It's pretty nice to just talk about myself. No, I'm kidding. One also kind of funny thing about it is that obviously during my career, there have been a lot of ups and downs. Like there have been a lot of amazing things and accomplishments that have happened. There have also been a lot of like down periods or periods where I like wasn't making money or I was afraid it wasn't gonna pan out and that I might need to get a real job or just I was so frustrated or I was so burnt out. And it was so weird coming to speak to this class during those times because you could tell, or maybe they couldn't tell, I hope they couldn't tell, but I could tell that I was just like so not enthusiastic. These people are like, yeah, what do you have to do in order to be a social media content creator full-time? And I, I, in my head, I'm like, don't do it. Just don't like quit while you can. Like I felt so pessimistic about it. So I do think that's funny that obviously I keep teaching this even throughout all my ups and downs. But what I think is cool is I've been able to be really honest about that. During those times, I would tell them, I'm not gonna lie, I feel really worried about this right now, but that's all part of it. Like there's always a lesson there and it's all just part of kind of the resilience that you have to have if you want a career that's very volatile. So I have found ways to like talk about it in a very real way. And I think that's part of it too too is like not gatekeeping and not being secretive and acting like everything's totally okay all the time because it's not. So yeah, we talk a lot about transparency and different revenue streams and kind of like the whole creator economy and where it's going. Okay, the other thing is shout out to the professor of this class, Jay Williams. He was my professor in college and also my first boss at my very first job. He is literally the sweetest man ever on earth. He's one of my mentors forever and ever and ever. He's the best. I've learned so much from him and he has actually been battling pain pancreatic cancer this past year. He just got back from a very intense surgery. It went well though, so that's really good. And we're very hopeful about everything, but it is just mind blowing that he is able to continue teaching and just working hard. And he is like the most inspirational human being. So I am always so, so excited to see him and to come back to his class. His son, Parker, who you guys probably know because I've worked with him a ton too. He's helped me edit and things in the past. And now we're working together on a freelance project. Um, so he'll be there too. And he's actually gonna talk in class with me for the first time. So that'll be really fun. We're almost done now. I needed to leave about mm, five minutes ago, but you know what? It's fine. We're going to dinner first. So I'll just 
be a little late for the dinner. Um, I didn't do my hair, but should I just have a headband moment? Okay, wait, that looked weird. You know what? Sure. Future Adrian here, signing off because I forgot to earlier. Love you guys.